I'd want to know about Archbishop Edward McCarthy. It all began for Edward McCarthy in Cincinnati, where he was the second child born to the McCarthys. There would be five, and four of them would give their lives to their religion. For young Edward McCarthy, the decision to become a priest was made very early in life. Actually, I come from a family that uh, has always held the priesthood in very high regard, sort of taking it for granted that when I, uh, when I grew up, I'd be a priest. I, uh, when I uh, finished my high school, I spoke to a local pastor about the possibility of entering the seminary. Just out of high school, 18-year-old Edward McCarthy entered the seminary. It was 1936, and the war clouds gathering in Europe seemed very far from Cincinnati and the peaceful education at the seminary. But the war came, and even the cloistered world of Mount St. Mary's changed. McCarthy was ordained a year earlier than expected. So that was a very exciting day. There was a great need for priests in those days because so many were going off as chaplains. And uh, so that the bishop decided that he would ordain a few of us while we were still in the seminary, that we could perform some priestly functions as we continued our studies. In 1943, McCarthy said his first mass. He had wanted to be a pastor, dealing with people rather than administrative work, but he was sent to the administrative office. He assumed it was because he was one of the few priests who could type. He continued his studies, picking up degrees in canon law, theology, a master of the arts. As his career expanded, he took on more duties within the Diocese of Cincinnati and became Auxiliary Bishop in 1965. In 1970, he was sent to Phoenix, Arizona, but it was not a lifetime appointment, although he thought it would be. In 1976, the call to Miami to assist the gravely ill Bishop Coleman Carroll and to succeed him after his death in 1977. It has been a tumultuous 10 years, but one in which the tall, distinguished, soft-spoken Archbishop has taken a lead position to end prejudice, assist the needy, and to lead all toward the spiritual life. He has a weakness, ice cream, and he can't hide his pride in getting the Pope to come to Miami. He calls it the crowning glory of his 44 years serving the church. Background information on Miami.